welcome you to the warm-up from Ada High School, brought to you by GA Windsor and Son. Bob Owen in his second year at the helm of the Bulldogs, sitting to my right. And the talented wrestler, also a pretty good football player, Noah Beach down there at the end, nose guard and left guard coach. How are things going? It's two a days, trying to get some work done, right? Uh, we have nine two a days. Um, the nucleus is a very strong nucleus with seven seniors from last year's regional finals uh, squad. Um, the kids know the terminology a lot better, uh, both offense, defense, and all the special teams. So we're, uh, we're just coming out, putting our time in, getting conditioning going, and and uh, trying to get uh, better every day. Noah, how much easier easier is it this year because you do know the, the terminology, you know the system, at least that part of there's a comfort zone too? I was going to say that part is probably easier. Everything else is still pretty tough. Two days are that. challenging for, for uh, Coach. Coach Olin's got the conditioning going for you guys? Yeah. Harder got... than wrestling? I'd say that's a tie. Oh, wow. I, don't, I don't know. All that's right. a tough one. That's no, a... we can make it harder. <laughs> I, no. I was going to say, is that a compliment? I don't know. <laughs> that's a challenge, Noah. These six guys over here aren't going to like you tomorrow. They're, they're all shaking their heads right now. Yeah, they're not they're happy right like, now. Coach, take us through uh, uh, last year, your first year here, and just the, we talked about it during the playoff run, the toughness you saw out of this Ada Bulldog team and just how much you enjoyed being around these guys. Uh, you know, it was a learning experience for them and myself. I had to learn, you know, the coaching staff as well. But, you know, each week I thought the kids came together and, and they really cared for each other. Um, we had a nice run, beat some really good teams at the end of the season. Uh, played real well uh, last four or five games. Uh, so, you know, we just want to build off of that uh, coming into this season and try to replace the eight seniors that we lost from last year's squad. Playoff wins over Delphus Jefferson and Crestview, 35 nothing, avenging that regular season loss to the Knights. What would you say the strength of this team is at this point? Uh, I think offensively it's our offensive line. We have four out of the five kids back from last year and our we have three linebackers uh, back as well as uh, uh, two or three of the defensive linemen that we had so um, those guys up front uh, first and foremost and I think our secondary kids are improving each day so that's a, that's an added bonus. No, no. Tell us about those lines and how you did come together last year, and just uh, maybe how you've grown in the off season and feel even stronger here in August. I'll say going to the playoffs last year was a pretty good experience. It kind of showed us how far we can go when we put our minds to it. Uh, I know we got a lot of new kids, young kids coming up, and we're trying to work with them to try and make them the second string this year and get them into starting positions for the future. Do you like that role? Do you like kind of mentoring some of the younger guys, or is it a challenge for you? Uh, it's a little bit of both. Uh, I like it. I like kind of teaching these kids how to do it right, okay. you know. And it's another experience I get from football. Coach, in all your years doing two-a-days, how much do you point to one particular day getting better versus progress over the entire period? What do you – kind of want to achieve by the end of it to get ready during those scrimmages and then for week one? Well, uh, from a special uh, team standpoint, we have a checklist of about 30 things and situations that um, we want to touch during two-a-days, the nine nine days of two-a-days that we have, okay. and make sure that we uh, con did all those things and practiced all those things. But uh, from an offensive and defensive standpoint, it's a daily type thing. It's not a cumulative uh, situation, but let's get better each day, each play, and, and, and go from there. Um, so uh, that's how we uh, attack it. Matthew Wilcox did so much for this team last year. Quarterback also on the defensive side of the ball. He's at Ashland now. Who will replace him there in the shotgun? Well, we have several different packages going, but right now if we played tonight, it would be uh, Seth Conley, a freshman. Uh, he's worked hard. He's improved a ton from June to, to now. Uh, he's a smart kid. Uh, like I said, he's a hard worker. Uh, he's a, He gets better every day. Uh, Trent Jolliffe's another uh, candidate for that position that we're trying to get back from a, 
uh, off-season injury and, and he'll push Seth for that position. Plus, Trent can all, also play wide receiver and defense for us. So, and he's our pun, one of our punters as well. So, um, those two kids right now, and uh, we'll, we'll go from there uh, if the situation arises. Between your system and the quarterbacks you've had over the years, you've gotten to work with some special ones. Do you really enjoy that relationship you have with your quarterback? They don't enjoy it, but I enjoy it. <laughs> uh, but after they graduate, uh, we have a great relationship. You know, you're referring. I've, you know, we've had quite a few good ones, and yeah. and you know, I I tell these kids I can text those those kids right now, and within five minutes they're texting me back, answering anything that I ask, or they'll just text me out of the blue and hmm. and talk football. How's the team this year? You know, how's the quarterback doing? You know, and that kind of thing. So we do have a special relationship. They just don't know why they're playing because I'm pretty grouchy with them. <laughs> but I push them to get better in practice and put the pressure on them in practice. So when the game time comes, that it's easier for them. So and that's my style, and it's, yeah. it's been successful for me over the years. And and it's hard to hard for me to change. So they have to <laughs> adapt to me. That's right. But I love them to death. Respect the heck out of them, yeah. and as well as all the kids. Scrimmages with Lipsick, Triad, and Arlington coming up before the opener at War Memorial Stadium against Upper Scioto Valley, and then the NWC opener at Spencerville week number two. When we return, Mark Hintz will stop by on this GA Windsor and Sun warm-up. Let's talk with some more of the players here from Ada on WSN. Welcome back to the warm-up presented by GA Windsor and Sun as we continue to talk the Ada Bulldogs here in front of Ada High School. Joined now by three of the seniors on this year's team, Levi Bass, Grant McBride, and Lane Nitsche down at the end. And Lane and Levi, both of you guys are on the offensive line. I think on paper that line is perhaps one of the strengths of this year's team. Uh, yeah, I think it's definitely one of the strengths of our team. we got four guys returning this year, and uh, we got a lot of uh, experience, and we got a lot of young guys step up and fill in that last position. Lane, how does that experience push each other? Well, uh, the experience, like with the guys, they played together for a long time, so they they mesh together really well, and them blocking is really like unbelievable. They work their tails off every play, and that's what you need. Grant, receiver and a safety. We know that the legacy of the skill position players at eight over the years. D do you feel that uh, pressure to live up to what has come before you guys on the Bulldogs? Oh, yeah, there's definitely big shoes to fill. I mean, Matt, last year, wide receiver safety, I'll be taking over his spots. Actually, he's quarterback. But uh, Heath Jackson, uh, real big-time players. and Yeah, I, I can feel it a little bit. New quarterback, what uh, what have you seen so far from him in practice? Uh, well, he's, he's getting better. Um, first couple seven-on-sevens is a little shaky, but he's definitely improved. Levi, you have a couple of weeks for the opener against Upper Scioto Valley. What do you need to work on the most between now and in that game one? Uh, we just need to uh, get in as many plays as we can so we're more versatile on both sides of the ball, and the more things we can do, the better off we're going to be. Lane, how'd the summer go for the program? The summer was really good. The players showed up in the weight room. and Everyone did well, working their butts off and doing the best they can do, getting stronger. We have, I think, Close to 15 guys or over 15 guys benching over 300 pounds, so I think good. we're doing good. Yeah, good strength right there. Grant, you've been through two-a-days for a while now. You're starting to get into the, the middle of the doldrums. What what are ways that you guys kind of keep things exciting, keep things new and fresh as you go through the two-a-day process? Well, I mean, throughout we all joke around with each other. Someone messes up, you kind of pick on them a little bit, but we, 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 we make fun of it. Coming off of a, a three-way championship in the NWC alongside Jefferson and Crestview. The old saying is nobody likes to share, particularly when it comes to titles. Is, is that a little motivation this year to win it outright? Well, I'd say last year we won it. We ended up beating them both. So, <laughs> Coming off another playoff appearance where, where you, you did pick up that, that victory in the postseason, how much did that help you guys last year? First year under Coach Olwyn to, to, to continue that Ada run of in the postseason lane, your thoughts? Um, I think, uh, well, last year was the furthest year I've ever been, so it makes me hungrier. And if we go by what Coach Olwyn says and do what he says and try not to fight it, I think we can go pretty far again. 
All right, that's going to do it for the second down here on the GA Windsor and Son warm-up. When we come back, more from the Bulldogs here on WOS. Welcome back to the warm-up presented by GA Windsor and Son as we're joined by three more Bulldog seniors, Dylan Hanna, Nolan Roberts in the middle, and Luke Longgreen down on the end. And guys, what was the summer like for the uh, the Ada program? Obviously, you had a lot of lifting, a lot of conditioning, a lot of seven-on-seven -seven type stuff. Dylan, how how the summer go for you guys? Oh, it was very interesting. We we hit the weight room pretty hard. We're all pretty strong, and we we all just did all that. We did a lot of conditioning. That pretty much set us up for two days. Nolan, new quarterback this year. How much faith do you have in him? And, do you, you know, the fact that you've got some returning linemen, I think that gives – hopefully should give him some more time in the pocket. Yeah, he really impressed us during the seven-on-sevens. And now our, we have to do our job as receivers and get open and make it easier on him. Luke, we've talked a lot about the offense. Let's talk a little bit defense. You play linebacker. There, there's a, certainly a tradition of good defense at Ada that perhaps gets a little bit overlooked with all the offensive fireworks. Obviously, you know, losing – uh, Sad Alamet hurts you guys as he was a you know a big factor on the line the last several years. How does the defense move forward? Um, yeah, I mean it's definitely tough losing a lot of our seniors last year, but I mean we have three returning linebackers and a couple returning linemen, and I think we'll do pretty good adjusting to the guys that we lost and. Look, we know the focus right now is on Upper Soda Valley Week One. What are the other games though that you're looking forward to? Uh, I mean, we all, we look forward to every game. I mean, we don't put anybody past us, but I mean, some big games that we have is Crestview, Bluffton, Jefferson. I mean, but we we definitely look forward to all of them. Yeah, that Spencerville matchup week two will be one of our WSN rebroadcast games, as well as the home game against the Crestview Knights. Uh, Luke. Uh, Talk to you a little bit. Let's uh, let's move on to uh, Nolan. And you look at the schedule. Do you like the way it sets up for you guys? Yeah, it's definitely going to be challenging for us. Everybody's looking like they're going to be decent this year. So we just got to play our every play and just hope for the best. Dylan, playoff runs have become the norm at eight over the last decade or so. Is that the expectation again this season? Uh, it's always an expectation. We are looking we're looking to go forward to the playoffs again, get better, do better than what we did last year. And play our hearts out. All right, that's going to do it for us tonight on the warm-up. One of them on Fox's GA Wings and Sun. And all of our guests, Owen and Tony Lynch, I'm Mark Pierce. We'll see you next time.